How's it going guys? It's Dozer here. Welcome back to Moonlighter. I have been busy in this game just a little bit just to kind of see flesh out a lot more things to see what I can do or see what this game has just to see if I kind of wanted to keep recording it or not. And like I said, I've been a little busy. I'll show you what I've done. Um, Right off the bat, as you can see, my shop looks a little bit different. I did upgrade it. I upgraded my cash register, I think, twice so that now they give me a better tip. I upgraded my store so it's a little bit bigger. I have two, uh, two sales tables, and I have two chests back here. Um, I Which one is it? This one. I just have a couple things I've been trying to sell a lot. As you can see on my money tab, I have 30,491 gold. And this actually helps a little bit. This uh, makes them want to tip me more. I have a sales bin also for uh, whenever I have a bunch of stuff that I just don't want to uh, keep. Um, I've been uh, visiting this guy a lot. He's uh, He uh, gives me better equipment. Right now I have a full set of, what is this, iron? Yeah. I have a full set of iron, just basic iron stuff, because it just it gives you plus uh, plus benefits, no minuses. Um, where the fabric gives you plus a little bit and speed. So I'm actually thinking about uh, going down to fabrics instead of just iron, but uh, using steel it actually uh, takes away some speed. Um, weapon wise, I'm going with the big swords, uh, I'm going down this tree where it does slow you down a little bit, but they give you a big wide range on when you attack and, uh, these, the down, uh, the bottom air row down here actually gives you different, um, effects, I guess. This one stuns enemies. I'm guessing this one poisons them. Fire and electricity, I would believe. Um, where this one just gives you raw damage. So I don't know which one's better overall. Um, I do have... Oh, I totally did not even know about a charge-up ability. That's <laughs> actually new to me. Okay, so... Uh, I have unlocked, it's not let me, there we go. All right, I have unlocked uh, Vulcan's Forge, obviously. The Wooden Hat, she upgrades your equipment uh, and gives you potions. I also unlocked Le Retailer. Uh, he or she um, lets you buy stuff right out instead of trying to find them. The Retailer person's right over here. They let you buy stuff right out without having to look for them in the dungeon. And here's the hat. I've upgraded, I do believe, all my all my armor's upgraded. My big sword, uh, I need 16,000 so I can upgrade this now. Let's actually do that. I need another 16,000 to upgrade it again, just to increase the damage. I do have a pole arm. Uh, here we go. So here's my other uh, weapon interesting so and when they're out of reach with my big sword I just swap over to my pole arm and I poke them so we've been busy doing some stuff and things and I figured out I still don't know if you can upgrade your backpack that'd be something great to know but I don't know if you can but um, I haven't beaten the golem dungeon yet but I've gotten down to the third level I do believe uh, everybody on the first level is really easy. I kind of avoid all the items on the first level unless there's something I absolutely need. And I just go straight down to the second or third level. Um, it gives you higher priced items so you can make more money. I also found out there are secret levels or secret rooms in uh, this game, which is really interesting. It reminds me a lot, uh, like I said earlier, of Isaac. Now, to get to the secret rooms, they're actually 
like down here. Sometimes you lose health, but sometimes you find a secret room. And since I have 200 health, uh, it's actually kind of worth it to try and look for secret rooms. Every room. Alright. Well, let's just see how far... Oh, I have a chest over here. Uh, nothing really that I want. Okay, let's go into the grass area. These guys hurt. Ah, sweet. Those are new items, actually. Ow. Okay. No secret room in here. I think it's just the single enemies that give you, uh... Uh, some items, but I could be wrong. Ooh, ooh. These guys are super easy. I'll always pick up those crystals because that's how you upgrade uh, your equipment. So it's good to have those. Ah, see? Here we go. Secret room. Now, sometimes it's just a single item. Sometimes it's multiple items. Sometimes there's a chest where you can send all your stuff back to your house. And you don't get over encumbered, which is really nice. Uh, but my favorite one so far was uh, there's this totem that kept on spawning new, uh, more and more enemies, and you would get a chest every single time you would beat uh, each uh, round, and each chest got better and better. Uh, yep. Break the pots. See if there's anything worth it in them. No secret. All right, move on. I'll save the uh, healing waters uh, for when I'm about to move on to the next area. Ooh, wow, that one really hurt him. Okay, let's see if there's oh, let's see if there's a secret room down here. Nope. Let's move on to the next room. Now, see. I don't really think there's anything special about that room. I've been there once. The journal seems to be the same every single time. So I don't think there's anything special with it. But I could. Just like everything, I could be wrong. Yeah, I like that. Oh, it just hit you once. Okay. And nothing really good. No secret room either. All right, so there's the next uh, level. We'll go down one. But before I do, I want to see... Well, there you go. No secret room in here either. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. All right, let's go down here and uh, heal up. Oh, guys, also... Oh, no, it's gone! I, uh, so where this empty slot is, right below my cursor, there was a, uh, I guess I didn't save it? I don't know. There's a new item that, uh, you pay 2,000, I think it is, and it opens up a portal. Now this portal, you can go back and forth. So you can go back to your, uh, home, sell all your items, and then take the portal back right where you left off. Son of a... There we go. Let's grab that. Okay, no secret room in here. Move on. Whew. There we go. I like finding dead bodies because they always drop something. Whether it's something you don't need or not, you'll find out. But they always drop something. I use these blobs to make potions, and I don't really use potions that much, so I'm not really super interested in picking them up. Alright, these guys are interesting. You can only hit them from the back, because if you hit them, try and hit them from the front, it gives you that X, so they're immune. There we go. Pick up... Ah, I didn't want that. Alright. Okay, so I'll always pick these. Oh, I don't want that. 
But I'll always pick these because they could end up being these parchments uh, that sell for like 3,000, which is really nice. All right, let's move on to the next set of rooms. Ah, son of a... I could always sell it using the mirror. I mean, it's worth a lot less, but it'll open up space if I need it. Uh, all right. No, I just want that. Ow! Super soaker mother. All right. All right, no secret room in here. Let's move on. Ah, oh, son of a... I didn't want to dodge diagonally. Get close. Wham! Get close. Wham! Oh, hey. You're still alive. There we go. From where their bodies... I would have to say... Oh, I've already read this one. If you guys want to read it, go ahead and pause the video and read it. Alright, moving on. Wait, hold on. I forgot to see if I could uh, check to see if there was a secret room in there. Come on, get close. Wham! Double hit. There we go. Alright. Okay, uh, quick move that. Leave everything else. Alright, no secret room in there. No secret room in there. Okay. Moving on. What? That guy's shooting me diagonally. I don't like that. Better stop that nonsense. Huh. Man. All right. Nothing in here. I, you know, let's use a potion just in case. I know I just said I don't usually use them, but we're getting kind of low. All right, moving on to the right. I don't like this guy. No, I faced the wrong way and I fell. All right, well, now we know this place does not have a secret. Ooh, almost got me that time. Yep. All right, let's see what this place has. Fabric is worth nothing. Let's grab that. Fabric's only worth anything if you absolutely need fabric. That's the only time it's worth it. Wow. His water gun didn't hurt that whole... Uh, I guess it's a animation thing. It won't hurt you as long as you're in an animation. All right, these things are kind of worth something. 200, 100, 300. These things are worth the most, but depending on what these are, they could be worth a lot more than that. Plant flesh, I haven't sold that yet. That's a new item. <laughs> All right. Um, I do like to grab these because I could sell them in bulk and they're worth about one to 200. And I can sell 10 at a time. So. Okay, I can deal with you easily. And you. Alright, sorry about that. I take a quick pause. Alright, uh, we did we check to see if this place was... Yeah, but we I didn't check this place. So let this fall. Alright. So let's uh, pop the pot and move on. Alright, so we found the healing waters. That's great. Killed one. Yeah, you can go ahead and take that. I don't care. A wet stone. Didn't really need it. No secret. And yeah, let's grab it. Just because I, I really... I, rarely see that one anymore. Uh, oh, I hate these guys. Oh, let me go. They're just, they're not hard. They're just a nuisance. 
I would really like to find that chest that just sends everything back to your uh, to your chest. These things are always oh wait. Cancel that. It's different this time. Feels as if we are fight, uh, fighting an invisible enemy. Every time a room is left empty of people, it seems to vanish. Replaced by another chamber that has already been ransacked. Get close. That works. Take those. There we go. Don't need that. Oh, son of a... Okay, so this is, from what I hear, he'll destroy all the items in the room, but he is, like, the boss. He is the golem of the golem temples. So, now what we're going to do is we're just going to dip out because he doesn't follow you pat into the next uh, floor. I know my items are full, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sell... Yeah, see, here's the item. I've already read this, but you guys can read it. Uh, pause it and read it if you want. Okay, so we're actually going to use that and uh, drop off all this stuff and then come back. It is kind of expensive, but I mean... I'm sitting here at 14,000 and it only costs two. I think it'll be worth it. This is the first time I'm actually using it, to be honest. Ugh. Okay, go to town. We'll drop off all of our stuff in one of our chests and then go back. Drop it off into this one. No, not in that one. In this one. Quick move all. There we go. Alright, so... Those secret parchments... Were they all religious cloths? That sucks. So bad. All right, let's get back in there. Now, my question is, does it disappear when I get back inside the, uh, the dungeon, or does it stay up? Ooh. Oh, no, it disappears, okay. Mystery solved, ooh. Oh, you son of a, okay. Golden chest. See these things, right? This one is worth 500. So, and then these things are worth 1,750. So, we are definitely taking that. Uh, immediately sends the item in the direction. So, we want to send. Hold on. Let's grab it. Everything. Come on. This is. Fucking infuriating. Fuck it. Boom. Alright. So we sent that item home. Now we'll grab both of these. And... Send that item home. There. Now I can finally fully stack it. Yeah, that was annoying. All right, so water lamp. What do these sell for? 200, not that great. And 300, meh. Okay, so I could actually live without those. Uh, wait a minute. What's going on? Why is my map already full? That's interesting. All right. Okay, so the way that rolling guy works is you can't damage him unless he runs into something. And he's dizzy like that. Then you can hurt him. I have not fought this guy. Holy cow. I was just about to say I didn't fight that guy yet. That's interesting. Alright, golden chests. Golem design number two. 
I have not, or I have sold this thing for 2,000. They didn't like it. So we will put that right there. This thing sends whatever is on the left immediately home. Boop. Okay, so these things are worth 500, and these things are worth 1,750, so we will turn all those into this. Sounds good. Uh, this is worth 500. So we'll put that right there. And I should have sent this immediately home because this thing breaks fairly easily. Okay, so. They're taking a certain amount of damage, I think it is. So I gotta be careful on how much damage I take now. Alright. Get rid of that guy. Now, I still... This guy just seemed like he, yeah, explodes. So I just gotta roll out of the way when he comes at me. There we go. Putting in work. Okay, there's a chest up here. Okay, just making sure. I'm not getting fooled again, okay? These things are worth 500, so they're nice. Um... Quick move that. Destroys one item directly below. We'll put this right here. Alright. I do one. Alright. Just roll right past. Kill him. Super easy. This guy's kind of clipping. Alright. Anything else? Nope. I want to check for secret... Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, I'm good. Alright. Oh, I'm not. I'm good. I'm glad I actually got that. So, the only way to fight that guy is after he uh, slams down on the ground is when he you can attack him. Oh, you... Okay. So, they're trying to, like, push me off right now. I don't get what these guys do. Do they just hold on to that thing? I didn't want to grab everything here, but I guess that's what's happening. Okay. Now I could just skip straight to the end, but I kind of want to go through all these enemies and uh, see if I can get anything good. Trying to hopefully find something new, but I'm not finding anything new. Alright, uh. So now I could heal. I don't know why I already know where everything is. This just puzzles me. Ah, oh, you let me go! Oh, come on. Let that go. Alright, uh, immediately sends the item. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right here and send it immediately home. This is worth 500. It's to the top right, right? There we go. And then I can just directly move that right there. Perfect! Leg! Oh, son of a bitch. Oops. Oh, shit. Okay, so now I know. Holy cow. This is the first time I'm fighting this guy. Golem King. Uh, first time I'm fighting him, I have no idea how. Oh, don't hurt me. He's aiming at me. Woo! Oh, you son of a... Ah! Oh. Don't. Don't. Okay. Can I not hit that? Does it disappear way too quick? 
I guess so. Oh, no. I just gotta keep dodging. Ooh. Keep dodging. When his arm comes back, I gotta dodge. Oh, wow, that came back fast. Now his hand is again trying to hit me. I can't. Get some cheeky hits here. Uh oh. Okay, what's my health at right now? Wonder if I could hit that hand. Nope. Okay, I gotta just ah. Uh, just hoping if I kept rolling, I'd eventually just like get lucky and just roll right past him. Okay, here comes his hand. I don't think I can hit it. No. I just have to keep dodging. Dark Souls roll! I'm actually doing a lot of damage. Not if I keep making mistakes like that. Ugh. Huh. <laughs> That's the key. Just pay get real close so you can pay attention to when it comes. I might actually... You know, I don't want to say it. Oh, son of a... I don't want to say it because I don't want to jinx myself. But are we looking for... Looking at a uh, first time... First run boss kill? Oh, not this time. I'm not falling for it this time. Okay, I can get up close. Oh. Woo. Up. Up. Okay. Get some good hits. Oh. Ho. Yes! Right on his eyeball. What is that? Oh, is that the key? What are those those fragments? What are these? Come on, let me grab it. Ooh, big chest. All right, uh, let's see what those items were. What is this? Golem King Energy Crystal. Holy cow. I bet you this thing sells for so much. Oh, I can push his eyeball around. Can I attack it? Oh, I could hit it. All right, now how do I get back? Oh, okay. There's an enemy here. Oh, I can't kill him. Open. Oh, okay. So, Golem History 1. I'm definitely... Okay, so I got to sell a few things. Like, uh, grab these, put those in there. Grab these, put those in there. And, yeah. Okay, so quick move those. Quick move those. These are new. Quick move those. And that's old. So... Actually, sell that, sell that, and sell that. Okay, so definitely want that. Uh, Golem History 2 and Golem History 3. We got to figure out how much those are going to be worth. Okay, so we know how much, about how much that one's worth. We know how much that one's worth. And we've never had this one yet. All right. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Is there anything else back here? Sweet! Wow, we killed 103 guys. In just that single run. That's interesting. First key in there. Okay, old man has something new to say. It was you, wasn't it, Will? The one who defeated the Golem King. Boy, you put yourself in such unnecessary danger. A lock on the door opened? Maybe Pete was onto something. Regardless, just leave it. That door isn't worth your life. Pete didn't heed our warnings and, well, due to the buzz your heroics are creating, the town has decided to reopen the forest dungeon. But with the Golem King dead by your hands, now is a great time to focus on Moonlighter. Take advantage of this momentum to expand the shop a bit. The town board should uh, show what contractors are available. A somewhat strange traveler is looking to set up shop in town as well. He specializes in crafting odd ornaments and such. Could make for some great decorations once you expand. And finally, Andre over at the Vulcan's Forge is preparing some new gear. He predicts an influx of materials from the Force Dungeon to occur, as people become more brazen due to your recent actions. Go there, see what he can offer. I won't have your demise on your shoulder on my shoulders, boy. Boy! This is the year of the boy. Can I move yet? Okay. I'm hoping it's new armor. Hmm. It is not. What new gear is he talking about? Tried it. Uh, there's nothing new. I have no idea what this guy's talking about, but there's nothing new. And the person he's talking about with the decorations is uh, this guy, Hawker. Thinking about it. First of all, let's go in here. Um, Okay, quick move as much as I can. Quick move. All right, so let's actually set up shop for tomorrow. Um, let's take that, 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 these, this, this, and pretty much all the paperwork. Even the rune tool, let's take that too. Mm, more rune tool. Okay, let's straight up just sell all this stuff. And those. Have anything in here worth selling? No, not really. What is this? There's something new? Oh. Okay. So, let's set up shop. Golem History 1. We'll sell this, and we will overprice the shit out of it, just so we can don't... Well, it's so we don't undersell it. It's easier to find the price when you oversell. And then just one Golem Energy Crystal. Again, overprice the shit out of it. Okay. Then down here, we know how much this is worth. That's worth 500. 1750. So let's put something that we know how much it is. And this thing is worth probably 1750 as well. This thing is unknown. So let's just take one of these, put it here, and put it as 1750. Oh. 1750. There we go. Okay. 
So let's now go to bed, wake up, and sell all this stuff. Ugh. By the way, that's how the saving mechanic works, is you have to go to bed. If you don't go to bed and you quit, you're going to lose your progress. I've done that. It sucks. Alright. Oh, and also, I've also had to stop a couple pickpockets or some thieves trying to steal my wares. My wares. Alright. So, 5,000 on... on what? This. Too much. Bring it down to four. She's about to buy that for a shit ton of money. Okay, so let's just bring this down to 1750. Because 2000 was too much. All right, so I think she was looking at this, right? Yeah, 5,000 is too much. Bring it down to four. I think, did somebody just steal something? I'm gonna have to look back on the recording, but I think somebody just stole something. Those bitches. 5,000. Okay, so here we go. 4,000. I think somebody looked at the 4,000 and thought it was too much. Nope, it was this. 4,000. Alright, uh... We know how much that one's worth. That's the one we're trying to sell up there. Let's put this over here for 2,000. Alright. Alright, sorry guy, I don't have any weapons on me right now. This thing's only worth 500, that sucks. Okay, so that one is worth 1750. 500, 1750. Rune tools, 1750. Once we find the right price for these items, it's gonna go great. So 4,000 is still too much, but I expected that. Uh, which one was it? It was this one. Let's bring it down to 3,000. Time to get ready for work. Okay, so now that we have an open slot, 500, 500, let's just sell the rest of those, 1750, okay. And I'm also making extra from like, oh, 4,000? Okay, 4,000 is the magic number for number one. But look, I sold it for 5,600. 3,000 is the right number for number two. But I'll sell it for 4,200. Thanks for uh, the cash register itself, which makes them want to tip me. And this vase right here, which makes them want to tip me also. All right, I'm finding the uh, right price for a lot of shit here. Making bank, making bank. All right, give me one second, lady. I gotta fill my shelves. Pretty much when my shelves are empty or when I close. Oh, no, you son of a, uh, see? That's what it means when he steals something. Luckily, it was only the $500 parchment or whatever, but still, that's super annoying. All right. 
I still haven't bought this crystal yet, so I'm not going to put more up there. Just in case I undersell it by accident. Okay, so 4,000 is too much. And they get pissed when you change the uh, price when they're looking at it, even though they've already looked at it and didn't like the how much it was. Uh, is 3000 the right price? 3000 is the right price. And it looks like we're closed for today. But, I mean, like, look at that. We went from, what was it, 18000 to 98 We made a total of... Oh, yeah, see, somebody did steal something. They stole a golem chisel. That son of a bitch. Okay, but we made 85000 Not bad. See, now would be the time uh, that you would go back into a dungeon to resupply everything, because that's ba pretty much what you want to do, is you want to go into the dungeons at night, get everything, come back, sell everything during the day. Rinse and repeat, and you'll get enough money to pretty much do whatever you want. Uh, let's see. Since I have 98,000 currently, let's uh, get Hawker in here. Oh, fuck. I can't buy anybody at night? Okay. So th these are the items that I have. I could actually upgrade my shop once again to have even more stuff for 60,000. Um, I want to get that... So I have the iron cash register. I can get the silver cash register. Oh no, I already have this. Will entice, what do, uh, you need a bigger shop to buy that. Oh, okay. I can buy the comfy bed. Yeah, let's do it. It's cheap. Uh, new bed that will grant adventures extra health in the morning. Such a good bed that you'll feel protected. I'm guessing it gives you armor for 20,000. Another chest, why not? See, I don't like the idea of a sale box. I don't know. Okay, um, now that I have a lot of money, let's see if I can upgrade my weapon. Uh, how much does it cost? 16. Alright, I can do it again. There we go. Fully upgraded weapon. I could upgrade that, but I don't really want to because I don't use it as much. Now, what do I need to do to get to the next mm -hmm. next weapon? What do I need? I need two items that I have no idea what they are yet. I'm guessing I pick them up inside the... Um, that's a wish list, I guess. I'll pick those up in the forest dungeon, maybe? Who knows? Anyway, guys. Uh, that's gonna be it for right now uh thanks for joining me on that new adventure on how we killed the golem king that was cool i didn't know that it was only three levels so that's interesting but now we know for future reference so we can uh farm out the golem king he was relatively easy i guess um but yeah, uh, we'll check out the Force Dungeon next, see what's inside there. Hopefully we can upgrade our weapon to the next level, start poisoning people instead of just uh, damage. Or, uh, uh, what was it, making them dizzy or some shit like that. Uh, hopefully we can upgrade our armor also, uh, increase our health from 200 to hopefully 300. That would be nice. Uh, we need to get more potions. We need to do a lot of stuff. And one thing that I'm hoping is that we can upgrade that backpack from 20. Because that 20 is really irritating. Well, anyways, let me go and uh, actually sleep in my new comfy bed. So I can actually save it before I turn it off. And let's see if it actually gives me... Oh, look at that! Extra 50. <laughs> Only 50? But I think this is... Uh... Oh, okay. So yeah, it did... Um upgrade this chest so that I have now even more items right there. Interesting. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next time.